Hi guys, Ms. Shouter here. Today we're going to read a kid book about creativity by Sarah and Stuart Scott Curran. Better Together. This book is best read together, grown up and kid. A kid's book about creativity by Sarah and Stuart Scott Curran. Intro. Have you ever been told you aren't creative? Maybe that's even something you tell yourself. What if it simply wasn't true? What if it's the most sneakiest lie you've ever been told? Expression through creativity can not only improve your happiness and self-fulfillment, but it can be really fun too. But often we either dismiss creativity as not important enough to talk about, or we just accept the notion that some people aren't born creative and some just aren't. Creativity feels like a big word that means something different to everyone and everyone is right. If you don't think of yourself as a creative person, we're hoping that by the end of this book, you'll expand your definition of creativity and see yourself as a one-of-a-kind creative being. Hello, my name is Stuart, and I'm an artist. Every time I say something, it's blue. And my name is Sarah, and I'm not an artist. Every time I talk, it's orange. But we're both creative. When we say something, it's purple. And guess what? Spoiler alert, you're creative too. This is a book about creativity. Creativity is like a superpower, but one that everyone has. We want you to unlock your creative superpower and learn how to use it every day. In both big and small ways. When I was a kid, people told me that I wasn't creative, and I believed them. Because I wasn't the best at drawing, singing, painting, or writing stories. Even my mom never hung my artwork on the fridge. But when I was a kid, everyone told me I was creative all the time. Because I was really good at drawing, painting, writing stories, and making things. My artwork always won a prize. Most people think you're either born to be good at those things or you're not. But what if being creative was more than just drawing, singing, writing, or painting well? What if there were thousands, thousands, thousands of ways to be creative? So many, in fact, that there is more than enough to go around. You might have already done some of them today. Still me, Stuart, in blue, whether you realize it or not. Still me, Sarah, in orange. Creativity is just being original. Taking your own approach to something, bringing your own point of view, and doing something in a way only you could do it. You are creative. Did you choose your own outfit today? Did you eat breakfast today? Did you hang out with a friend this week? Did you play a sport today? Did you do any math lately? Each of these can be done in a creative way, unique to you. You could have one of a kind style in your outfit, or maybe you put barbecue sauce on your breakfast. Maybe you invented a new game with a friend. Did you think up a new move to try during soccer? Did you solve a math problem in a new way? All of these are examples of creativity. And if you did even one, that makes you creative. Can you think of some other ways that you can be creative? What about tying your shoes in a different way? Posing for a picture? Dancing in public even when no music is playing? Not being afraid to get messy or weird or be super silly? What about making up new words to, to a song? Only walking on the squares, not the cracks of the sidewalk? Making your hair into a shampoo mohawk during bath time? Pretending to stand at the playground is lava. Be careful not to touch it or... You are unique, creative, and original, and that is awesome. Showing who you are in big and little ways is an expression of your truest, most creative self. And when you do that, the world is happier and bright. The world is a happier and brighter place. Outro. Congratulations, you are a creative original. High five. We hope this book has shown you that there are a million ways to be a creative person and they all have value. 
Now that you know how big, awesome, and all-encompassing creativity can be, here are some things you can chat about with your kiddo to help their creativity shine. Start with your experience with creativity when you were little. Talk about how each of, your, each of you express your creativity now. Count all the times in a day you use your creative muscle. Or try doing something really practical. Try doing some really practical things together. Make dinner in a new way, or even have breakfast and dinner. Work together to solve a problem, build something, take some pictures, or make fun. Anything that will get you thinking in a new way. Remember, you are creative.